Okay, so the first thing you want to, want to do with this rig is to peel off about around about four foot of um, rig body, four to five foot, something like that. Then on to the end of that, um, you're going to tie one of your Gemini rig clips. And then you just need to uh, snip the tag end off. Onto that you're going to want to slide one of your beads then a, a swivel followed by another bead and then one of your crimps be fiddly to pick up Then you should have something that looks like this. So a swivel at the top, a bead, a swivel, bead and a crimp. Next thing you're going to want to do is get another bead, a uh, crimp, sorry. So crimp next. Followed by another bead. Then your next swivel. Uh, another bead. And another crimp. Then uh, another crimp. A bead, a swivel, and another bead. And then you can tie on your link clip. And then you just got to snip your tag end off. And that's all the components now tied that we need for the rig body. Okay, from the bottom up, you should have a bead, a swivel, a bead, a crimp, another crimp, a bead, a swivel, a bead, a crimp, another crimp, a bead, a swivel, a bead, and then your top swivel that's tied on at the top. Okay, now you need to set the lengths of where your component is going to sit. So the top one, next to the tie on top swivel, just crimp in place at the top there, as you can see in the, in the video. Then you're going to want to find the centre of your rig, so just fold it in half, or hold it in half, and pull the middle set of components up to the middle of the rig. With, this, with the uh, crimps either side of the beads and the swivel. And just hold it at halfway. And then you can crimp it in place there. It doesn't have to be tight against each other. So don't over crimp them because you could damage the line. But just, just gently crimp them in place until they, they no longer move. So just check that. And there's one more crimp to position 
at the other end with the Gemini rig clip just down near the bottom just crimp that one gently in place and that's the rig body complete so it should look like this diagram here just to make it a little bit easier for you to see and that's where you should be at now okay so the next thing we need to do is to tie on the uh, snood lengths so obviously there's three snood lengths we're gonna have to tie so if we start with the top one that's the one nearest to your tied on swivel and just tie a knot on there uh, snip the tag end and then you're going to want to run the two lines between your fingers until it meets the next set of components the uh, next set of beads on your line come back probably about an inch and a half to two inches and just snip off there and then you'll move to the next one down and repeat the same process so tie your knot and then uh, snip tag end run your fingers down the line until you come to the, the final set of components at the bottom of the rig and then take your snood back up an inch and a half to two inches and snip there and then you want the same length of snood tied on to the bottom swivel so exactly the same again try and get them the same length just snood the same length so judge the uh, bottom one by the middle and the top one So this is what this is the bottom one is going to hang down below the lead hence the two up one down rig so just snip that off then we're going to have to tie on three hooks so again any knot you like whatever you're comfortable with i'm not going to teach you how to uh, or show you how to tie knots i'm sure you've all got your own favorites so just use whatever you're comfortable with and then just trim up your tag ends so tie on you're going to tie on all three hooks we'll just speed through that a bit Okay, with that done, now you're just going to want to check your snood lengths that they don't um, come past the next set of components down with the hook tied on. So just run them down and just make sure that when you, uh, your hook length there, I'm getting tangled up here, but your hook length there is short of the next set of components down. Otherwise, if it's not, it could easily get tangled when you cast or just sitting on the seabed moving about so do that for every uh, the second one down as well make sure it's short of the next set of components or the last set of components and then you've got your final one so that there uh, just clip your lead on the lead clip at the bottom And that there is the rig completed. So I hope you enjoyed that guys. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. It really does help the channel. Uh, leave a like. And click the notification icon. To be notified next time a video is out. So again here's a final diagram. Of how the rig should look. Just in case you can't see it too well in the video. Thanks a lot guys and I'll see you on the next one.